What you're looking at right now, images of the raw power of Hurricane Idalia as it made landfall on Florida's Gulf Coast in some parts, knocking out power, rushing ashore with projected 10 feet of storm surge. Right now, it's making its way northeast through southern Georgia. And as WPTV First Alert meteorologist Steve Villanueva will tell you, the storm's far from over. Well, good day, everyone. Steve Villanueva here. We continue to track Hurricane Idalia. Dahlia getting considerably weaker. It came ashore early this morning into the Big Bend of Florida as a Category 3 hurricane. Now it's down to a Category 1. Now that it's on land and away from the fuel source, the warm waters, it will continue to weaken. But it is producing some really big downpours into parts of Georgia right around Valdosta. That's where we're seeing the heaviest rain right now. Still seeing some gusty winds into northern in Florida, but currently it's a category one winds of 90 miles an hour moving very quickly at 20 miles an hour to the north northeast. Now, as we head into the next couple of hours, it makes a run towards the Carolina coast where it continues to weaken. Tomorrow it's a tropical storm and then eventually it works its way out into the Atlantic waters and away from us. But even though the storm is way to the north, still has an effect locally. It is going to make things very breezy as we head into your afternoon hours. So right now we're at 88 in Stewart, 90 in the Palm Beaches, 88 in Boca. But notice what it feels like. It feels like the triple digits for most of us. So it's very warm and very muggy outside and very windy too. We do have a wind advisory in effect for today. The winds coming in out of the south sustained at 20, but we're seeing wind gusts at 30 to 40 miles an hour, and that will be the trend for the next couple of hours. So it is going to be quite windy. We do have, for the most part, dry conditions, but a couple of storms starting to develop back across the lake. That right there is a tornado watch in effect. Not issued for us, but nonetheless, as we head into the next couple of hours, we'll be tracking some thunderstorms, and some of them could pack quite a punch.